Hey guys, it's Dr. Carter here at Lexington Podiatry, and we're with a patient of mine, Jason Barker. Um, a few years ago, he had an amputation on his foot, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience with not only just the surgery, um, what happened before, what happened after, and now, 15-ish years later, the effects that it's having on his body and his everyday life. So, after surgery, what was your main concern with your foot? Uh, well, like, how would I walk on it again? Would I be able to perform my daily tasks by, by getting up and going back to work, climbing a ladder, uh, walking, running, upstairs, downstairs, you know, things of that nature. Uh, and after surgery, I found out that I could do those things. You know, uh, I really could. Uh, didn't have a lot of issues with it at all. Uh, and how old were you? I was 32 at that time. Do you so, think that being older, you would have had more issues with it? I think probably just, you know, for the age you would be when you were older, but being younger, you know, you're just a little bit more fortitude and you push on through, you know. Uh, but as, as I did progressively get older, there were some issues that I had with it, you know, and that's one reason we're here today for your help and analysis of my problem. And so what of, are the issues that you're having now? Uh, some of them were my balance issues with my foot uh, and, and not walking correctly. Uh, Sometimes I'd roll my ankle or uh, stumble. I would feel like I wasn't wasn't stable, you know. And uh, but really I was. And, and sometimes you overcompensate for that. But then pushing off, coming up and down steps, uh, I have to stop sometimes to think which foot I need to put down first. If I was stepping down off of an object, you know. Whereas before, when you didn't have any issue like that, you just went ahead and walked normally. What would you tell? A diabetic patient who's facing having an amputation about the rest of their life it's not over it's it's really not I mean you have to make some adjustments you know and uh, which you all are here to help us with those adjustments and you know your willingness to get up and, and, and move again I mean you know you've got to find a way to do it you know because what stays not used doesn't work <laughs> what what you use keeps working you know and that's what you got to do I like to tell people it's you have to find a new normal yes you may not be able to do every single thing you used to do in the exact way but you can still maintain a normal life in normal shoes and basically do what you want correct yes I do that's you said that very well uh, a new normal and that's good I mean a new normal is is a new beginning and just understanding what you're you're gonna have limit, li, 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 uh, limities, limits, uh, <laughs> limits with what your foot is, but you're gonna be all right. I mean, I, I don't want to ever stop. Right. You know? I mean, because you're right. When you stop, when you don't use it, you lose it. You got it. That was right. well said. That's very true. Do you use any assistive devices at this point, like anything in your shoes or a walker or a cane or anything like that? I've never used a walker. Never used a cane. I had had a pair of orthotics made for me one other time uh, they worked well for what for, for a while that I used them uh, I've not used any toe separator or anything like that no bandages no no wraps or anything like that I've not used anything like that okay. uh, just buying tennis shoes and then you know find the tennis shoe that fits for me and, and try to keep try to keep a new pair you know uh, I always wore shoes out, and you, when you start wearing them, your foot starts moving around in them. And I think sometimes I would wear my shoes too long, yeah. and, and that would cause, because this foot wants to roll out on me, and it, when it did, when the shoe would stretch. So I try to keep new shoes.